from day one of processing this bill into law, the stakes were high, although the movers, seconders, and other stakeholders were determined. And I want to appeal to all of you here that we should not accept the intimidation which is coming from the Western world to us as a country. The head of state summoned an NRM caucus to correct some anomalies identified at the first passing of the bill. Those who, who, who like easy life end up as prostitutes. And that's what they want us to be. They want us to be, they want Africa to be prostitutes. Homosexuality, obviously, just like other doctors agreed, it's more to do with a psychological perspective rather than a medical perspective. The bill has since been returned to parliament, debated and passed again. But it has come with some threats to the Speaker of Parliament. I was intimidated. We are going to lose out of drugs on, of AIDS. We are going to, AIDS is going to be cut off. Tourism, trade, export. I said, so what? Nevertheless, the bill is now an act of Parliament. Uh, called the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023. Was assented to uh, by the president and uh, forwarded to uh, parliament. So, what I have with me here is the assented to copy. Asman Basarirwa is the mover of the bill who got overwhelming support from Ugandans. He has an appeal to the Western world. This law here was signed by the President of the Republic of Uganda. May I invite America, Canada, Britain, the entire European Union to also cancel the visas of Mr. Museveni. May I also invite them to cancel visas of all MPs except two. Except two. Let all MPs' visas be cancelled. This appeal follows the cancellation of the Speaker Anita Among's visa to the United Kingdom and the United States. Basadirwa agrees with Anita Among's earlier submission on the matter. That you're going to be blocked from going to America. Do I need to go to America? I was sent here by people of Bukedea. I am what I am because of my people. I am not, I am not because I want to go and get a donation. If you're saying there will be no food, I'll go and dig cassava in Bukede. And that means don't waste your time applying for a visa to any of those countries. I cannot, for example, apply for a visa to the U.S. Fortunately, I was last in the U.S. in 2009. I had not even become MP. I have never gone back. As for donor funding from the West, Basarirwa wants government to find alternatives in the Arab world. And I am ready, I am ready to champion the cause of going to the Arab world to look for donor support. The Arab world, we will go to Saudi Arabia, we will go to Kuwait, we will go to Qatar, we will go to UAE, and uh, this deficit which will be occasioned by these cuts can easily be replaced. For now, he wants government to reduce on what he describes as unnecessary expenditure. It is now time that we become frugal. So that monies that could be spent on unnecessary uh, aspects or sectors is redirected to go to health, to go to education and other sectors. The anti-homosexuality bill was first passed on 21st March 2023, but was returned by the president. The president cited concerns regarding distinguishing between being a homosexual and actually engaging in acts of homosexuality. This was reviewed and the bill was passed on 2nd May 2023. Henry Okrut, UBC. Hello, don't take my... Hello, Onyango.